Lord, I have loved the habitation of your house and the place where your honor dwells. Christ, mighty Savior, light of all creation, you make the daytime radiant with the sunlight and to the night give glittering adornment. Stars in the heavens. Now comes the day's end as the sun is setting. Mirror of daybreak, pledge of resurrection. While in the heavens, choirs of stars appearing, hollow the nightfall. Therefore, we come now, evening rites to offer, joyfully chanting holy hymns to praise you, with all creation joining hearts and voices, singing your glory. Give heed, we pray you, to our supplication, that you may grant us pardon for offenses, strength for our weak hearts, rest for aching bodies, soothing the weary. Though bodies slumber, hearts shall keep their vigil, forever resting in the peace of Jesus, in light or darkness, worshiping our Savior, now and forever. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises. Declare to all people in G Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The portion of the Psalter to be read for this evening is Psalm 18, verses 21 to 50. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteous dealing. According to the cleanness of my hands, he, recom he recompensed me. Because I had kept the ways of the Lord and had not forsaken my God as the wicked do. For I had an eye unto all his laws, and did not cast out his commandments from me. I was also uncorrupt before him, and kept myself from my own wickedness. Therefore the Lord rewarded me according to my righteous dealing, and according to the cleanness of my hands in his sight. With the faithful you show yourself faithful, and with the upright you show yourself upright. With the pure you show yourself pure, but with the crooked you show yourself shrewd. For you shall save the people who are in adversity, but shall bring down the high looks of the proud. You also shall light my lamp. The Lord my God shall turn my darkness into light, for which you, for with you I shall crush a host of men, and with the help of my God I can leap over a wall. The way of God is an undefiled way. The word of the Lord also is tried in the fire. He is defender of all those who put their trust in him. For who is God but the Lord? Or who is a rock except our God? It is God who girds me with strength for war and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer and sets me up on high. He teaches my hands to fight and my arms shall bend even a bow of bronze. You have given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand also shall hold me up, and your loving correction shall make me great. 
You have made a broad path for my feet, and my footsteps shall not slip. I will follow my enemies and overtake them. I will not turn again until I have destroyed them. I will smite them, and they shall not be able to stand. They shall fall under my feet. You have girded me with the strength for the battle. You shall throw down my enemies under me. You have made my enemies turn their backs upon me, and I shall destroy those who hate me. They shall cry, but there shall be none to help them. Even unto the Lord shall they cry, but he shall not hear them. I will beat them as small as dust before the wind. I will tread them down as mere in the streets. You shall deliver me from the strivings of the peoples, and you shall make me the head of the nations. A people whom I have not known shall be in subjection under me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me, and foreigners shall cringe before me. Foreigners shall lose heart, and, being afraid, shall come out of their strongholds. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock, and praised be the God of my salvation. Even the God who sees that I am avenged and, sus and subdues the peoples under me. It is he who delivers me from my cruel enemies and lifts me up above my ad adversaries. You shall rid me of the wicked. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the prophet Micah, chapter 4. It shall come to pass in the later days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and it shall be lifted up above the hills, and people shall flow to it. And many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples, and shall decide disputes for strong nations far away. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war any more, but they shall sit every man under his vine, and under his fig tree. And no one shall make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. For all the peoples walk each in the name of its God, but we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. In that day, declares the Lord, I will assemble the, the lame and gather those who have been driven away and those whom I have afflicted, and the lame I will make the remnant and those who were cast off a strong nation, and the Lord will reign over them in Mount Zion from this time forth and forevermore. And you, O tower of the flock, hill of the daughter of Zion, to you shall it come, the former dominion shall come, kingship for the daughter of Jerusalem. Now why do you cry aloud? Is there no king in you? Has your counselor perished, that pain seized you like a woman in labor? Wither and groan, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in labor, for now you shall go out from the city and dwell in the open country. You shall go to Babylon, there you shall be rescued. There the Lord will redeem you from the hand of your enemies. Now many nations are assembled against you, saying, Let her be defiled, and let our eyes gaze upon Zion. But they do not know the thoughts of the Lord. They do not understand his plan, that he has gathered them as sheaves to the threshing floor. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make your horn iron, and I will make your hoofs bronze, and you shall beat in pieces many peoples, and shall devote their gain to the Lord, their wealth to the Lord of the whole earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways, and the evil ones their thoughts, and let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will rich, richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. 
it will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish what that which I have proposed, and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew, chapter 7. Judge not, that you be not judged, for with the judgment you pronounce you will be judged, and with the measure you use it will be measured to you. Why do you seek the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or, how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when there is a log in your own eye? You hypocrite! First, take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before swine or pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. Or which one of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? So, whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide, and the way is easy that leads to destruction, and those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow, and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes, or figs from thistles? So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will recognize them by their fruits. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Oh, that day many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And when Jesus had finished these sayings, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he was teaching them as one who had authority, and not as their scribes. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For he that is mighty has magnified me. And holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him throughout all generations. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones. And has exalted the humble and meek. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, has helped his servant Israel, as he promised to our fathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now profess our faith to God and our neighbor, as it is summarized in the Apostles' Creed. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. As our Savior Christ taught us, we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace in your church and in the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Alan Gardner, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. O Lord God, grant your people grace to withstand the temptations of the world, the flesh, and the devil, and with pure hearts and minds to follow you, the only God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you called your servant Alan Gardner to preach the gospel to the people of Patagonia. Raise up in this and every land evangelists and heralds of your kingdom that your church may proclaim the unsearchable riches of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men, women, and children everywhere love and serve you in peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Sing now with joy unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse, the rider, and the sword he cast into the raging sea. God is our strength, he is our song. He saved us from our enemy. All praise and thanks to him belong, who came to set his people free. He only is the mighty Lord. He only can destroy the foe. He only is to be adored, for he alone can strength bestow. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church, that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us now pray. 
for our own needs and those of others. Hasten, O Father, the coming of thy kingdom, and grant that we, thy servants, who now live by faith, may with joy behold thy Son at his coming in glorious majesty, even Jesus Christ, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Glory be to Jesus, who in bitter pains poured for me the lifeblood from his veins. Grace and life eternal in that blood I find. Blessed be his compassion, infinitely kind. Blessed through endless ages be the precious stream, which from sin and sorrow doth the world redeem. Oft as earth exalting wafts its praise on high, angel hosts rejoicing make their glad reply. Lift thee then your voices, swell the mighty flood, louder still and louder praise the precious blood. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and an age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen.